hi guys welcome back welcome back to those who are new welcome back this is my kind of vanessa and welcome welcome so today we are going to talk about how to have a positive mindset like you know sometimes there are times when you think like everything is just going wrong and you try to hold on but it's just impossible to do so like it's really really hard so today i'm gonna talk about how to have a positive mind and i'm gonna talk about like five tips that can help you have uh, like a positive mind and yeah so grab your coffee grab your favorite drink whatever you like to drink and let's dive right in <laughs> Okay, so as I said today, we are going to talk about how to have a positive mind. So first of all is don't accept negative energy. Like, it's like, I don't know, it's like a mindset that you tell yourself like, no, I'm not going to allow this negative energy, this negative vibe to, to affect me. Be it if it's people who bring negative energy around you, be it whatever brings that negative energy, you got to cut it out like just kick it out of your life if possible because like the moment you get negative energy it affects everything like you get you can't even even when you're like in a in a good situation but that negative vibe that negative energy will just make you doubt everything that you're doing like how is it is this for me is it really possible for me to to be this successful is this opportunity really for me like the negative energy just makes you doubt it Thought yourself that you end up keeping up on a lot of things so the second one is gratitude you know like you gotta be grateful sometimes it seems like we don't really have you know when you're in the like in the deep deep down there like it's really hard sometimes you find that it's really hard to to be grateful but just one thing just find one thing per day like that you just wake up or you spend the whole day saying Today, I'm really grateful for this, be it your family, be it your kids, be it your job, be it good health. It can be anything that you like focus your mind on today. I'm grateful for my good health. I'm grateful for waking up in the morning. And, you know, there are so many ways that you can like keep, uh, you can like track your gratitude. Like you can make a gratitude journal. You can just write it in your notes. Let's say you encounter something that you'll be like, wow wow i'm really grateful for this you can even put it in your like in your phone notes just like keeping a great a, a gratitude journal really helps a lot because like you write down then you see like at the end of the day if you go through something that is hard then at the end of the day you'll be like wow i have something that i'm really grateful for which will also help you with your positive mindset then the third one is um change your per perspective you know sometimes just a change of environment really helps like when you're going through something whatever be it you're down you feel like your mind is just cluttered or you feel like things are not going well just having a change of environment a change of a change of view basically helps you don't have yes i know when people say you need to change where you are or people just think that thing about i have to go on them on a vacation yes going on a vacation a totally new different place helps but if you can't do that right now you know just taking a walk maybe early in the morning just uh not a sunrise but where i am right now it's like winter so it's better to go like maybe you go out when it's about to be sunset and there's that you know that ray of sunshine is just then you just take a walk you just take a new like you breathe in new air it really helps a lot it just changes the way you view things sometimes because sometimes all you needed was just to take your walk you just clear your mind and then everything you just comes into perspective so changing your environment and just changing the your perspective really really helps then the fourth one is practice self-awareness okay people will say ah, i know myself but uh what i mean by uh practice self-awareness is if you don't if you're not aware of what affects you be it good vibe or bad vibe you won't know how to make yourself happy you won't know how to have a positive positive mind so if you know that if i do one two three or if someone does one two three it's gonna 
it's gonna affect my mind it's gonna give me that energy vibe like that negative energy then you know i'm going to avoid one such and such one two three i'm going to avoid them at all cost but if i encounter them i know that if i do one two three four it's gonna bring back my what it's gonna bring back my mood so having uh practicing self-awareness really goes a long way because you know that like okay whatever i go through be it the ups the downs i know that if i do one two three it's gonna help me get clear all the negative energy it's gonna give me like a new perspective it's gonna give me like a positive mindset then the, th the fifth one that is i think almost everyone does that after going like a huge change or after experiencing something it's decluttering your physical area you know sometimes when you're like decluttering whatever you're going to like be it just decluttering your wardrobe just removing oh you know sometimes personally i'm a hoarder so like i feel like everything that i keep i'll be like i'm gonna use it one day yeah i'm keeping this dress because i know i'm gonna lose weight then i'm gonna get back in it which uh most of it is never gonna happen but i'm just holding it so if your air your physical area is cluttered if your physical area is packed with stuff unnecessary stuff it affects your energy it affects your mindset so just declutter even even i'm speaking from perspective and like when you're really stressed and you try to declutter your physical area it really helps declutter your mind because like i don't know how but i don't know if it's ever been scientifically proven i don't know but when you're decluttering something somehow your mind just starts removing some unnecessary stuff in your mind that's you know you when you reach a moment you're like when you're done cluttering, you'll be like wow wow like it's just it just gives you a new perspective so you know it's not decluttering is not as hard as it seems it's really you know when when you're not when you haven't done it yet it feels like it's a really stressful thing but actually it's distressing so yeah those are like the five um tips that uh, i have to for you today about how to have a positive mind so i know it's almost end of january yeah it's actually end of january but i just thought like it's just the first month and probably some people or on a personal note things haven't been really going so well and i feel like it's just the beginning of the year so if it starts like this you know how people say how you start the year is how you're gonna spend the rest of it so you now you start getting that negative energy that you, like you can't see what you're supposed to be grateful for like you can't see anything else so these are like the five tips that i've been practicing so that like i i try to you know to have a positive mind as we are starting 2023 and what are the tips that you have like just comment below about like what are the tips that you have that helps you uh, keep a positive mindset or that helped you gain a positive mindset or whatever so just put it down below and don't forget to subscribe i think the subscribe button is somewhere there don't forget to subscribe i'll be posting new videos every week so thank you guys and see you next week bye